Hello and welcome to Red Gaming Tech. My name is Amata. Today is the 21st of November and this time I'm bringing you the nominees for the Game Awards 2014. Now as you probably know the event will be taking place in Las Vegas um, on December the 5th and if you're not unfortunately around to go to Planet Hollywood it will be viewable on PSN, Xbox Live, Wii U, Steam, Twitch, YouTube, Kotaku, IGN, GameSock and um, Nico Nico and MLG. So plenty of options to watch this live if you are unable to attend in person. And most of the award winners will be decided by a jury of 28 international games media professionals. However, there are four, sorry, five fan voted categories. And of course, I am here to tell you all the nominees and categories and some opinions on who I think should win some of the categories. Now, we have Game of the Year, and nominated is Bayonetta 2, Dark Souls 2, Dragon Age Inquisition, Hearthstone, Middle-Earth, Shadow Mordor. Developer of the Year is Blizzard, Monolith Productions, Nintendo, Telltale Games, or Ubisoft Montreal. For some reason, I don't think Ubisoft will be winning that one. Best Independent Game is between Broken Age Act 1, Monument Valley, Shovel Knight, Transistor, and The Vanishing of Ethan Carter. Best Mobile or Handheld Game is between Bravely Default, Hearthstone, Monument Valley, Super Smash Bros. 3DS and 3s. Best Narrative is between South Park, The Stick of Truth, The Walking Dead, Season 2, The Wolf Among Us, Valiant Hearts, The Great War, and Wolfenstein, The New Order. Best Score slash Soundtrack is for Alien Isolation, Child of Light, Destiny, Sunset Overdrive, and of course, The Mighty Transistor. Best Performance is between Adam Harrington as Big B Wolf in The Wolf Among Us, Kevin Spacey as Jonathan Irons, who is of course Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, Melissa Hutchinson as Clementine in The Walking Dead Season 2, uh, Trey Parker as Various Voices, South Park, The Stick of Truth, and Troy Baker as Talion, Middle Earth, Shadow of Mordor. Now for that one, I would personally go for Clementine, but I'll be happy if... Bigby Wolf's false voice actor actually won that one. Both actors did a fantastic job. Games for change is between Mountain, Never Alone, The Last of Us Left Behind, This War of Mine, and Valiant Hearts, The Great War. Best remaster is between uh, Grand Theft Auto V, Pokemon Omega Ruby, and Alpha Sapphire. The Last of Us Remastered, The Master Chief Collection, and Tomb Raider Definitive Edition. Best Shooter is Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, Destiny, Far Cry 4, Titanfall, or Wolfenstein The New Order. Um, for those ones, eh, I don't know. I mean, I haven't really played loads of any of them, so it's kind of tough to say. But probably um, Titanfall or Far Cry, judging from what I've played. I'm going to go through properly what I think at the end of the video, just kind of giving you a rough overview at the moment. But we have Best Action Adventure. As between Alien Isolation, Assassin's Creed Unity, Bayonetta 2, Middle Earth Shadow Mordor, and Sunset Overdrive. That's kind of a tough one. I personally would go between Sunset or Alien Isolation, but that's just me. Best RPG is between Bravely Default, Dark Souls 2, Divinity, Original Sin, Dragon Age Inquisition, South Park The Stick of Truth. Best Fighting Game, Killer Instinct Season 2, Persona 4, Arena Ultimax, Super Smash Bros. 3DS, and Wii U, and Ultra Street Fighter 4, all included. Best Family Game is between Disney Infinity 2.0, Fantasia, Music Evolved, Mario Kart 8, Skylanders Trap Team, and Tomodachi Life. Best Sports or Racing Game is between FIFA 15, Forza Horizon 2, Mario Kart 8, NBA 2K15, and Trials Fusion. I have a feeling that Mario Kart 8 will probably win that one, but I haven't really played any of them, so I can't personally comment. Best Online Experience, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, Dark Souls 2, Destiny, Hearthstone, or Titanfall. Um, I'm going to go with Hearthstone on that one just because I've, I've, that's the one I've played the most of, so slightly biased, I know. But now we're moving on to fan voted categories, which is a, not really to do with games, but you'll see what I mean in a moment. My most anticipated game is Witcher 3 The Wild Hunt, Uncharted 4, A Thief's End, Batman Arkham Knight, Evolve, and Bloodborne. They're all really anticipated. Um, Bloodborne, maybe? Possibly Witcher 3. I don't know. They're all pretty anticipated, so it's a tough call for that one. Next up, we have Esports Player of the Year. And we have Matt Nedershot Harg, Christopher Get Right Alessund, Zhu Fai Linson, Martin Reckles Larson, James Firebat Kotasish. And Esports Team of the Year is Ninjas in Pajamas, Evil Geniuses, Samsung White, Edward Gaming, and Newbie. 
I'm going to vote for Evil Geniuses on that one. Trending Gamer, we have Turtle Biscuit, Jeff Gertzman, PewDiePie, Evan Vanoss Fong, and Stampy Longhead. Of course, I'm going to be putting my personal vote for Total Biscuit on that one. But best fan creation is Twitch Plays Pokemon, Luigi Destare, Best Zelda Rap Ever, Minecraft, Titan City, and Mine in the Diamond. The only one I have personally seen is Twitch Plays Pokemon, so I can't really comment. Still, that is the full and complete list for all the nominees and categories and whatnot. Um, I have, of course, linked the official website for this in the description below this video, so if you want to have a full look through what I've already detailed, then please feel free to do so, as, of course, there is quite a lot of information here. So, Game of the Year. That's a very personal question, I think. And that's, of course, going to be jury voted between 28 games professionals, as I said. Um, if I had to pick one, I don't know, I haven't really played, I mean, any of them, really. The only one I've really played is Hearthstone, but I don't know if such a simple game would win Game of the Year when it's going against Middle Earth, Shadow of Mordor, Dragon Age Inquisition, and Dark Souls 2. Three very big games, of course, Bayonetta 2 is being praised across the board. I haven't played it because we still don't have a Wii U. I'm still waiting for more games to come out before I finally purchase one. It is on my list because we've got Zelda and that coming out as well. Um, so I can't really comment. Uh, if I had to pick what I think is probably going to win, rather than my personal choice for this one, I would say probably Dragon Age or Middle Earth. Um, for that one. Developer of the year out of the ones available I would go with Blizzard or Telltale personally. Best independent I hope it's Transistor and I hope they also win best soundtrack because well if there's one thing those guys do at Supergiant Games it is a excellent excellent soundtrack. Best remaster mm. Given that Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire has only really just come out in the US and we're still waiting for it here in the EU, I don't know if that's going to win, um, especially when it's going against GTA 5. If I had to say which one's going to win, it's probably going to be GTA. Best action adventure, I've already said, between Alien and Sunset, really. Um, yeah, it's tough to say. I'd love to hear your thoughts on some of the categories, though. What do you think should win and what do you think will win? on some of them, like necessarily your personal I want this one to win, but what do you realistically think is going to win? Anyway, that is me done for this video, and I'll see you next time.